There is a plan in the works to reimagine Sugarland's most recognizable landmark, basically where the bustling suburb began about 100 years ago. Jason Miles is live from the old Imperial Sugar Company with more tonight. Jason. Hey there, guys. There's a town hall meeting underway as we speak here at the Sugarland Heritage Museum, which is partly housed in an old uh, refinery building. Many more things may soon be on the way. A big part of Sugarland's past is at the center of a project just getting off the ground. This was our start. The city recently started discussing with the community a potential plan to redevelop parts of the former Imperial Sugar Company, the city's namesake. We wanted to have new life. We wanted to have a new use in our community um, to kind of have that rebirth as part of this site. Office, residential, retail, and even experimental spaces are part of the preliminary vision, which will also include historic preservation. At the center of the site is this 1925 brick building known as the Char House. It's about 10 stories and where I'm told sugarcane was burned back in the day as part of the refining process. This is a photo of the building from its early days. It was built after various sugarcane plantations merged to form Imperial Sugar. A company town sprung up around it and included homes for refinery workers. The Char House and other operations closed in the early 2000s. We have done some structural assessments on the building and it is actually in very good um, condition and is a good candidate for adaptive reuse. So we're very excited about that possible opportunity. Houston-based Puma Development entered a purchase agreement with the property owner. Meanwhile, local, state and federal dollars, in addition to possible tax credits, may help sweeten the deal. And there are former Imperial Sugar employees still around. They're very interested to see what happens with this former, their former employer site, I should say. You can find out a lot more about this proposed project on KHOU.com. Reporting live from Sugarland, Jason Miles, KHOU 11 News. Mia. So much history in those structures. Interested to hear where things go from here. Jason, thank you.